that mother wants him to come to our house. I'm awfully sorry, I can't. I'm oh. playing golf with father. My girl simply adores your son. So does mine. He's terribly attractive. Wouldn't my Joan and your Bob make a handsome pair? He is your only son. Yes, he'll get all my money. Oh, oh. I wasn't thinking of that. Of course you weren't. Come on, Dad, back to work. Oh, Mr. Miller, must you take him away? Oh, please. Well, if he wants to stay. Sorry, business first. Come on, Dad, back to the office. Bye. Oh, well, Bye. goodbye. So when I heard they wanted a new girl at the office, I spoke to Mr. Butterworth. Who's Mr. Butterworth? Our chief tester. He tests all the musical instruments. And he said if I brought Vera along to the factory, he'd see if she was suitable. And that was very kind of you. Vera? Yes, Mother? Hurry up. Molly's waiting for you. Mm -hmm. What will they pay her? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, whatever it is, it'll be welcome and it'll keep her from getting into mischief. My little Vera doesn't get into mischief. If you don't call walking into shops and pricing things she can't pay for mischief, I do. I won't do it again, Mother, I promise. We've heard that before. Ready, Vera? Yes, I'm coming. We haven't got time. You've got to be at the factory at two. I shall walk in and be and thrown out. You know, you'll get yourself into trouble one of these days. I'm going in. But we haven't got time. Vera, I'll go without you. This is absolutely the latest model, madam. One can get all stations, of course. Any station you want, madam. Now, where could I put it? I'm thinking of my boudoir, you know. It would look charming anywhere, madam. How much is it? 140 guineas, madam. Haven't you anything better? I'm sorry. This is the best we can do today. <laughs> Thank you. If Madam will be seated, I'm sure I can find something suitable. Thank you. This is charming, Madam. You think so? This would suit Madam marvelously. Oh, no, that's ordinary. I require something attractive and chic. Naturally, Madam. I shall be going about a good deal this season. Quite, Madam. Do you see anything that interests you? Not up to the present. Wait! What about that model there? Now that is too divine. Can I persuade Madam to try it on? Perhaps I will. Miss Jones, Madam will try on the mauve spot. Will you kindly step this way? It's a little plain, isn't it? another day. Do you know you've kept me waiting for a quarter of an hour? Oh, I'm sorry. And I suppose as usual you've tried everything on in the shop? Yes. A frock, a fur coat, a diamond necklace. And then I... said, haven't you anything better? And walked out. I know. But I like beautiful things. Oh, come on. Do you want this job or don't you? She's to see Mr. Butterworth. Oh, all right. Now, I've told him all about you, so all you've got to do is to smile and pretend to be intelligent and you might get the job. Come in. Mr. Butterworth, this is Miss Hart. Oh, come in. Mr. Robert Miller is in conference. In conference? In conference. He's in conference, sir. Sorry, sir, he's in conference. But he would wish to see me. Well, I'll put you through to his secretary. Hello? Mr. Miller's secretary speaking. Sorry, he's in conference. Well, I'll go and ask him. Sorry, he says he can't see you. Well, give me the little plump one with the ankle. You can have her. You can have them all. That's very nice of you, my boy. Dear Bob. You're such fun. 
What a darling your father is. Well, what's wrong about that? And all those dear mamas. My Mabel simply dying to dance with you, Mr. Miller. Oh, I must meet your father. I'm sure I shall like him. He's so rich. No, no, they don't say that. Well, that's what they mean anyway. Oh, those mothers. Well, I'm not keen on the mothers. The daughters are as bad. Oh, no, they're not. No, not all of them. I'm rich Mr. Miller's son. That's what I am. Come in. Sorry, Mr. Miller's in conference. Of course I'm telling you the truth. Oh, madam, you don't think I'd deceive you? You'll ring up tomorrow. Thank you. So kind. Why can't you mind your own business? I want to see young Mr. Robert. But he can't. He's busy. I want to engage an extra girl. But he can't without his permission. You know that was an untruth about him being in conference. You lied to that lady. And a good job, too. If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't have a moment's peace. I look after him, and I love doing it. The mother instinct is strong in your bosom. Not so much of the mother. How old are you, Miss Fisher? <laughs> Twenty-one. If you don't get out of here, I'll push that thing down your throat. Oh, that would be impossible. But I welcome the attempt. <laughs> I should feel that your indifference to me was waning. Oh, go away. I'm busy. Your preference for young Mr. Robert to myself is exceedingly noticeable. In fact, I'm looking forward to his holiday. Yes, it's about time you had a holiday. You're getting no fun out of life. Why, when I was your age... I know. Mother used to tell me. It's a lie. Well, goodbye, Dad, for a month. Goodbye. Taking a car? Yes, a brand new one. Built to order. Good. Well, have a good time. Thanks. Cheer up, Pop. Goodbye. Goodbye, Anne. Goodbye, Mr. Miller. Any letters? Then. Purple. In conference. Goodbye, Henry. Goodbye, sir. Oh, sir. May I engage an extra girl? Oh, sure, Henry. Help yourself. Oh, thank you, sir. Sorry to trouble you. Goodbye, trouble. I'm finished with you, trouble. I'm leaving you and worry for behind me. Goodbye, trouble. I'm moving at the double and going where you'll never, never find me. I'm delighted, so happy and excited. Know that there are brighter days in store. Goodbye, trouble. And once I've lost you, trouble, I'll never, never find you anymore. I put on my hat, I've locked up my bed, the dog's at the vet, I've settled my debt, in case I don't get any peace, I've paid up every penny piece, don't know my tailor, my butcher, my baker, my grocer or candlestick maker. Goodbye, trouble, I've been this with you, trouble. Goodbye, trouble, I'm moving at the double. I'm delighted, so happy and excited. Goodbye, trouble, and once I've lost you, trouble. Miss Hart, sit down. Are you musical? Yes, I think so. Can you uh, play this? No. This? No. Uh, the, any of these? No. Pity. I can play them all. All at once? Oh, no. That would be impossible. Uh, the really important thing is, can you stamp? Like that? No, no, I, I mean uh, 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 this. Yes, I think so. I'll show you. Come along. You will have the benefit of working under my personal supervision. Oh, thank you. Your salary will be 30 shillings a week, and you'll be required to be here at 9 in the morning. 
This is your desk. Uh, you can sit down, and I'll get you your first work to do. Yes, thanks to you. Isn't that wonderful? There we are. Now I'm going to show you how to stamp systematically. First of all, you take the stamp firmly in the right hand. So. Then you press it down on the ink pad. So. And then you place the stamp in the space indicated. So. Simple. <laughs> I'll show you again. One. One, two. There now. Do you think you could manage that? I try to. One, two. One, two. One, two. <laughs> yes. Tempo good, technique weak. Now I'll show you how to save ink. You breathe on the stamp, alternate blows. Thus. Ha. One, two. Ha. Four. One, two. Ha. Four. <laughs> now you try it. Ha. One, two, ha. Ha. Four. Ha. One, two, ha. Four. One, one, two, one, two, two, ha. ha. Four. Ha. One, two, ha. Four. One, two, ha. Four. How much to six into thirty? Five. Can I have earned five shillings? Yes. Well, there she is. She's a beauty, yeah. all ready to drive out of the showroom. What's this? One shot lubrication. Here. Good. Radio. Seen this? Adjust your spring according to your surface. Bumpy road over here. Speeding or cornering over there. She certainly is a peach. Uh, wish you were mine. Yeah, how'd you say that works? I just told you. Shove the lever over here on a bad road, and over there when the going is good. Oh, I see. Uh, come into the office and I'll show you how it functions. When are you leaving? Tonight. What, alone? Absolutely. Good evening, madam. Good evening. How much is this car? It's not for sale, madam. Then why is it in the window? It happens to be rather what I want. We can supply you with one just like it. But I don't want one like it, I want this one. You can't go for a holiday in a car like that alone. It's indecent. That car needs a girl. Some nice little thing who loves you for yourself alone. Mm -hmm. Where do I find her? Where do you find her? You, old Bill Miller, son. Whew. You can find a dozen. All loving me for myself alone. Mm -hmm. You've no idea how being old Bill Miller's son's cramped my love Ooh. life. It's no good, Peters. I'm fed up with girls. <laughs> I think. Could you take over for a moment, Chief? I'm all in. Well, what's the trouble? There's a girl down there who insists on having Mr. Miller's car. Well, tell her she can't have it. But she won't take no for an answer. Hear that, Bob? I... Just say, here. Hey, hey. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. My assistant tells me that uh, you wish to buy this car. I do. But I'm told it's not for sale. That's very annoying. Oh, that's quite all right. You you can have it with pleasure. Oh. No, thank you. I've changed my mind. Oh, but you must have it. It's a, it's a beautiful car. It, it's a splendid car. Look at all those wheels. No, really, thank you. I don't think I want it after all. Oh, please don't go. Have a look at the inside. Well, perhaps a little. Well? Ah, oh, it's lovely. There you are. You see, you hadn't seen the inside at all. It's not a bit like other cars inside. It's all new. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, they're all new gadgets on it. Get an eyeful of this one. I, I mean, may I direct your attention to this, madam? The radio. Observe. <laughs> Underneath, the one-shot lubricator. Oh. Yeah. What does it do? What does it do? Uh, the one-shot lubricator. Mm. Uh, yes. I will tell you. One shot, 
You're lubricating. Tipsy? No oil. Wait, isn't that tipsy? Yes. No. I... You know, you really must have this car. Come inside. I can demonstrate better. You bang your side while I bang mine. Fingers. Come sit here. Oh, no, really. I don't think I will. I say, this is grand, isn't it? Yes. You know, you've simply got to have this car. Oh, no, no, please don't show me anymore. Oh, what's that? Uh, that. Nice coffee, isn't it? Lovely springs. Yes. yes. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what this is for. You see this leader? Well, that is to adjust your bumps. Over here, little bumps. Over here, big bumps. I must go. Oh, not yet. Let's go for a drive. In the shop? Yes. Shall we? Yes. <laughs> you came to me from nowhere Just like this beautiful song Let's you and I go somewhere Darling, won't you come along? Oh, you'll find it very thrilly as we go through Piccadilly in our car of dreams. We can laugh at traffic as we drive along the avenue. We can stop to dilly-dally on a hill or in a valley in our car of dreams. There with you beside me I will sing a song of love to you. My heart will beat a mile or more a minute in your sweet embrace. Our lips will meet in heaven for a minute we'll give love a taste. In a year or two or later we can take the car and trade her for our future schemes. Don't you think a scooter is a cuter little car of green? Oh, it's been so very thrilly since we drove through Piccadilly in our car of dreams. Never thought I'd ever meet a fellow quite as nice as you. Since we stopped to Dilly Dally, we've become so very pally in our car of dreams. Can't you see that you were meant for me and I was meant for you? Our lips may meet in heaven for a minute we'll give love a taste. In a year or two or later we can take the car and trade her for our future schemes. Don't you think a scooter is a cuter little car? Follow that young lady, see where she goes, and come back and tell me. Very good, sir. 